Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Hello Bell Cruise Ship in Minecraft. Today I'm going to be working on the Comedy Club. So, this is one thing that is optional on your cruise ship. It just is kind of one of those things that if you have the room, put it in. Which is going to kind of the next ep couple episodes are going to be as well because we have to fill this whole other deck. So, these at, po at this point are kind of optional. Now, I would recommend putting it in just because it, nice, it is a nice thing to have, a nice amenity to have. Um, however, it is not required. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it back here like most carnival ships. I'm going to go ahead and kind of make the floor. So, let's see. I'm gonna try to go with like a darker theme, so I'm actually gonna grab some wool from down here because I like the I like the kind of theme going on right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the line like that all the way across. Like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill it in. Just make sure that all right. Fill cyan light blue. And what else is there? There's normal blue as well. I wanna go ahead and fill that in with 50. Alright, sure going out of there. Okay. So, the comedy club and a lot of other amenities like it are just really again, it's just really, really opinionated on how it should be made. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. I'm personally gonna do some wood paneling, but different walls, you know, you can do so much different things with the comedy club. That's one thing that's really cool about it, is you can do so many different things and it'll still look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this wall. Um, again it's gonna be a paneled wall like this all the way down and it is nice to have a wall like you could keep it white if you wanted to however I wouldn't recommend it because I think it I, personally I think it looks ugly but I do know uh, that there are some people that choose to, to actually just keep the white and that then you know that's that's fine you know for them but I personally think it's ugly but it is completely up to you on what you want your cruise ship to look like because it is your cruise ship so go ahead continue going around just putting this base in right here and it might go over the windows, that's fine. Um, because realistically no one's gonna see it from the outside, so... It's okay if you go over the windows, it's just a little bit... Just go ahead, pull that all in. Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead, put every... Let's see, just about every third, just so we have some little designs going on over here. So you see I have, like, the little poles going on everywhere. I just think that looks cool. Um, especially when there's not that much... Stuff. Go ahead and put that right there. Put that right there. Just so it looks like it's not just a plain wall, I'm going to put in some some of these things. Now, they're not support beams, but what they are is they're just kind of a wall decoration or just a wall kind of theme going on. Because what I'm going to do at the end is eventually just put the uh, these guys in so it looks like that. And as you can see, it kind of makes a nice little panel wall type of design going on. So that is what I'm doing there, if you are wondering. Go ahead and fill those in. Fill that in. Okay, I do need that white there. So go ahead and do this then in that case. Now you may have stuff that kind of comes in like this, and if you do, like, kind of see like how this kind of like vertically comes in. Uh, if you do with that, there's two things you could do. You can either make it like kind of vertically going in like that, or you could do like that, and you can just keep it like a brick, like or like a straight kind of line like that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do this because I think it looks a little bit better. I think it looks just kind of like more in the shape of the ship, but you can do it however you so desire. So I'll go ahead and just continue to fill that in like that. And you can have like some white like on the curve for, like stuff like here and there. I mean it's not gonna like be you know you know <laughs> it's not gonna matter that much if it's like very minor like it that. So you just gotta be just do what you think is right honestly. Um, do what you think looks good. So you go ahead and go back around. I'm gonna fill in some of the space with this here wood. That nah, looks kind of weird. Let's not put that there. So I'm gonna go back over here, put this in, and I'm gonna go put it in over here, like that, go ahead and put some in right there, as well as over here. So there you go, now you have a wall going around. Now of course you are gonna need some support beams, because there's no way this thing's gonna hold itself up by itself, I promise you that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them, like, maybe about right here. There doesn't have to be too many, but there does have to be some, like this should be plenty should be good enough and then you just go to the middle and then you go about let's see what does this line up with the thing is that you want to keep it symmetrical because that's just consistency and you've heard me say that a lot in this series just consistency consistency um but consistency is very very important it shows like kind of like the professional level level blah, of how good you can build this thing now granted it's gonna be in the way of the stage but it is just something that you need because it's a structural safety measure um so this might be a little bit less than you usually need but it's gonna work for what I'm trying to do here. So, now you have to decide where you want to put the stage. And you can put the stage a lot of places. Personally, I'm gonna put it over here, and the reason why I wouldn't put it over there is because of all the windows. Uh, you don't want to get in the way of the windows. That's just kind of like a, that's just weird, to be 
honest. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fill this in right here really quickly so I can make the wall going across. Like this. Let's go all the way. Like that. Alright, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, doesn't to be perfect either. Doesn't to be perfect even on the other side. Unless you are an OCD freak and you need it. But, that is perfectly fine. Alright, so go ahead and put in my wall paneling. Just so it maintains the consistency in the room. And I'm going to go ahead and make the entrance right about here. I'm going to go ahead and get some stairs. Just for some detail. And there's one thing that you can do. So you can get like some dark spruce wood and just kind of put this over like this. And then it makes a nice entrance going into it. So it's kind of like, you know, not just brick. You know, or just like a just normal Minecraft brick. You just have stairs and it looks nicer. So that is an option for you. So now let's do some lighting. So as you see, this is a really wide open space. And it's going to be kind of hard to light it. Um... But I'm going to do what I did, or what I showed you guys in the, or pretty much all throughout the series, actually. And that carpet trick. So I'm going to go ahead and find some carpet that matches the color of the floor. And again, this comes in very useful, especially when you need to do, like, really large places like this. Because this is a very, very large place. So, just go ahead and put the beacons in where you think they'll matter. Like this. But I'm, I try to make this symmetrical just so the lighting, lighting's even. You don't really have to if you don't want to, but it's just something that I... I recommend something that I like having in my ships, but it is completely up to you guys on what you desire. Okay, so I have those installed. I'm going to go over here and have these installed on this side. Alright. There we go. Now I just gotta go back, hold down shift, put the carpet over. All the way back. There we go. And this really does help though, because then you don't have to worry about like putting them in the support beams. Because if you notice with the support beams, if you put a beacon like on top of it like this, it just kind of looks weird, and it looks like it's, the ceiling is almost resting on glass. So that's why I don't typically like doing that. Uh, but although sometimes if you're on a wood floor, then you really don't have an option. But since we have the carpet floors, that is one of the pluses to it. So that is just a little helpful hint. All right, so now we have the basic floor plan kind of out. We have the walls, the floor, the lights everything so now we can go ahead and furnish so this is where you kind of decide how big you want your theater to kind of be or it's kind of a mini theater almost that's kind of what a comedy club is I, I don't know if all ships have them i know carnival does and carnival might be the only one i don't even know that that's not even a comedy club that's just a lounge that they use for comedy so um it's just kind of up to you so i'm gonna go ahead and make the stage about this big so that should be fairly okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make it go up one and we're gonna get these slabs so i'm gonna make them Go up like that, and I'm gonna get some sandstone. Cause I like to make my stages multi-textured, just because it looks a little bit better, and it kind of makes sense. Cause this is like the brim of it, and then this is the bottom part of it. This is where the comedian actually stands right here. So that is what I like. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a comedy club either. It could be a lounge or really whatever you want it to be. So you go ahead and do that, and you could make curtains if you wanted to. Um, I'm personally not going to because I don't think they're really needed in such a small lounge area, but you very well could if you so wished. But there we go, so now we have the stage, and then pretty much all you do after that is just add the stairs. So then you can kind of choose what type of furniture you want. Now, since I'm already kind of have like a lighter colors in here, I'm going to try to go with darker furniture just so it stands out more. So you don't want everything to kind of, I mean, I know you want consistency, but you don't want every single thing to blend in. So I'm going to go ahead and add in these chairs, and they're just going to kind of surround the stage like that. So I just go around, surrounding the stage. Now be careful of the walkway, you also want to make sure that you have a good uh, traffic flow so that people aren't going everywhere on top of each other. So I'm gonna do that. And you see like I'm kinda like making the, um, see how like this chair isn't in front of this one? The reason being is so that this guy can actually see the stage because realistically if you put the chair like right here, then the, you'd be behind this guy's head and that's no fun. If you notice they do this in movie theaters I believe. Or at least in some movie theaters, ones around me. I don't know if they do that everywhere in the United States or around the world, for that matter. Uh, but I do know they do that here in the great nation of the United States. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going around. And you could actually make booths if you want to, like this, how they're all connected. I just choose not to. I don't think it looks, like, as good. I think it looks much more, like, realistic if it's like this, because it's kind of like what I see when I go on cruises. But again, it's all up to you guys. It's your guys' ship, so you guys can do what you so please with it. It is all opinionated. Um, again, this, this whole series is just basically so that you guys can get an idea on what you would like to do. And go ahead and continue going around. And this is a time-consuming process. Um, I'm not going to lie, it really is. 
So, I'm gonna kinda make these chairs just start coming back over here. Kinda like that. So, now as we get back here, you can start adding different types of tables, and you can even add an elevation if you want. Like, if you want to, you can make a whole nut, you can make like a block and kind of make it higher. Um, so, pretty much what I do is I just kind of put these guys down. And this is pretty much for the people that are kind of just there for the show, but they don't really care. Like, they're just there to hang out with their friends. Um, and that's what these tables kind of are. Is, and that's what they are. They just, it's for your friends to hang out. It's, it's a hangout spot. And that's why this is, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily an entire comedy club. It could just be part of, you know, part of lounge. If you want it to be. And this is where the lounge part comes into play. So, these are very helpful for that. And also, if you just wanted to hold, like, ceremonies in the ship, then this is the place to do it if it was a real ship. So, this is kind of like, these are good space fillers as well. Like, if you just need to fill up space, these are great to do it with. Because they look good, they're realistic, and they make sense. Unlike some things. Like, I've seen people put vending machines in like, you know, in the middle of a lounge, like, I, I know that makes sense to go against the wall, but they'll, like, literally put, like, a vending machine, like, right here. And it's like, really? Does that really look good to you? Uh, but, you know, people are just desperate to fill space up. Um, I think one of the craziest ones I've seen is that someone put literally just a huge palm tree in the middle of it. Uh, which looks fine if you weren't, you know, if it wasn't supposed to be a greenhouse. But, alright, so there we go. Now we see we have chairs everywhere, and this place is capable of holding a show. Now, one thing you might want to add is a bar, because, again, what are the big money makers in cruise ships? Bars. And as much <laughs> as much as screwed up as it is that alcohol must be served on a cruise ship, it must be in order for the cruise line to stay into business. So, I'm going to go ahead and make that in the corner, and the reason you want it in the corner is because, according to business, you would want it there in order for traffic flow, because when people walk in, the first thing they're going to see is the stage and the bar. And if they're thirsty, where do you think they're going to go? So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys around. I'm going to get some pressure plates for the seats on those. Like this. Give them a nice little bar area. And you can get some carpets. Perhaps for the countertop. Like that. For the bar in here. And you can actually put them in here too if you want. Like all around um, this. It actually looks pretty good if you wanted to do that. It covers up like the ugly wood color. And you'll see me do that a lot of my ships sometimes, is I'll just put it over and make it a windowsill just because I believe it does look good. And you can definitely do that. It's a really, really good idea to do that actually because it looks so much more detailed and so much cleaner. So as you can see now, it looks much better. So you can always do that if you want. And of course, remember, back here you need to make their stations. It's up to you how more how in depth you want them to be so you can get yourself a furnace. And get your, you want to get yourself a stair. If you're going to get a furnace, you want to get a stairs as well. Then you might want to get some brewing stands. Alright, I already have them. So the reason you want um, the stairs, I said this in the previous episode, but I'll say it again. You want to do that, and you want to put the hood over it so that it absorbs the heat and the toxins from are coming from the stove. Put those on top to make it look like a stove. And then put down your brewing stand so that you can brew some coffee, or er, uh, beer. Well, I don't know if you can actually brew it in there, I'm not sure. Um, so then going back to these guys, you want you want to put a fence pole in the middle of each one of them. And I'll show you why in a minute, but you want to go through each and every one of them with a fence post. It doesn't have to be necessarily another brick. I mean, it doesn't have to match, it's just that's what I usually do. You want to get carpet, and then put them on top, and then there you go. Look at that. Now you have a table. So it is perfect as a four-person table that people can now hang out with their friends on board the cruise ship while they watch a comedy show, although more than likely the comedian is going to pick on you if you do this. So, but that is fine. Oops. I do not like putting them on the fence post. That is an absolute pain. Whatever. Okay, so there we go. Now you have that. And even if you wanted to, this is one thing that I do a lot too, is you can actually put these things next to the seats like this. And not to be necessarily all of the seats, but I um, typically do if I do it on one. just because of OCD. But these can act, you can actually have tables next to the seats. And the reason they do that is so that you can order your drinks and you can just, you know, just go drink them. So it's actually a really, really good idea by the cruise lines. So, I'll go ahead and do that right now. Oops, light right there. There we go, and just go back. Plop them all on. I put a lot of them too. But just realize, the more work you put into this is the more detailed it's going to come out and the more popularity your ship's going to get if you choose to release it publicly. And that is always what matters, because I hate it when people just rush their ships, because, I mean, honestly, I've been working on a ship for three months. Now, granted, I haven't really been working on it 24-7, 
like, bar barely at all, but I'm still taking my time on it, I'm not just pushing to release it. And that's another thing too, if you're just doing a, a ship for public, um, like often like I do, don't just rush it because people are going to be able to tell when you rush it. Um, especially your statistics on the video or your PMC page will show it if you rushed it. Uh, and also your overall quality, like literally I downloaded a ship from someone uh, on PMC, he's a well known ship builder actually, I personally don't like him. Uh, he's done some stuff to me in the past, but he releases these ships a lot, and they get really popular. But the problem is that they, they, they're they're pretty much, I mean, crap. And the reason they are is because he rushes them. And just don't do it. I mean, it's simple as that. Rushing things are never is never okay. It just it they always turn out bad if you rush it. And it, you can see that it's sloppy. You can see it's just badly done. And I, I make sure, or at least I try not to be sloppy with my ships. I usually aren't. Um, one of the sloppier ships I've done is Carnival Magic. I'll, you know, I'll, granted, I, I, that was a sloppy ship, but that was the first ship also, so one of the first major ones I've done. So that's kind of a good example and a good little lesson on, you know, don't don't just uh, don't just do it to do it. Do it because you enjoy it. So as I was talking, I got all these fences down and all these tables down, and there we go. That is the comedy club. So, again, this could be also be used as a lounge if you so choose, and it makes a very good lounge. If you want it to be strictly a lounge, um, what I would do if I were you is I'd actually take the bar and put it where the stage is. And make it just bigger, make a bigger bar area, and you make a smoking section if you want to. If you, and, you know, this is if you wanted it to be a, a bar. I mean, uh, a strict lounge. And yes, there is a difference between a lounge and a bar. Uh, the lounges are typically bigger like this and more open, have more seating, where bars are just kind of focused on, okay, get the drink, get out. Um, you know, drink, get out, drink, get out, and they're just constantly serving drinks. Or a lounge is kind of made to just, you know, relax, and that's pretty much the point. So there is a difference there, so you could call that a lounge. So we'll go ahead, get a sign, and we'll name the lounge. Go ahead, that. Sign decorations, we'll name it the Oceanic Lounge, I guess. Oops. Caps. You see what I do like this, this is another good helpful tip, but see how like, I put these lines, it just makes the sign look a little bit better because, yeah, I don't know, it just does. And also capital letters and lowercase level letters, because look at this, if I just type in Oceanic Lounge, like that, look how much better, look how much more appealing this sign is other than this sign. So I see this a lot and it just looks ugly personally, so I try to do it like that and it looks good. So that is another thing that you can use on your ship. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I do, do believe completes this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching and the support of the channel. Tell me what you think of the series in the comment section below. And as always, have an awesome day.